Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls series. So, it's the morning of day 24, and I thought I would lay out kind of how I want to build this base to be moving forward. So I think we're going to have dart traps like here and here, and maybe here and here. So when they get up to here, they're being shot in the back, right? Yeah, they're going to hit these blocks, but... Yeah, minimal damage. They're gonna, we're going to have pressure plates on here connected to the dart traps, so they'll only go off when zombies are running across here. And they'll get up here, and to avoid them from like completely falling off the edge, I'm going to extend it by half a block here. And then they'll run along this way, make the turn. I'm going to like make it a little easier for them to get along here. It's this one here I'm not so worried about making it easy for them for. They're going to come along here, we're going to extend it along, and now my fighting place will be here rather than where it is now. And then, um, that I hope will give us, um, let's do this. So if we go in here real quick. So we'll have a spot here to shoot them, right? Because my biggest fear is cops. If the cops can see us, they're going to try and spit on us. Right, I'll probably extend this out one from here, so this top platform will be where we're standing, and then we'll go out one more, so the walls will be out here a bit more, like they are there, over top of the dart traps. Right, and we'll do the same on this side. And then, we'll block this part in, so this will all be blocked up in here. Right, so we'll have a spot to shoot here. If the cops see us, we can step behind. It'll be a solid wall. And then, when they're running along there, they won't be able to see us. Then we can just turn and fight them here. So the cops won't have a chance to barf on us, or anyone that's going to be shooting any kind of thing at us. Like, if I know later on, there's I think there's like demons that shoot fireballs or some shit. I don't know. Um, th we'll at least be out of the way. They won't be able to see us. And then we can fight them right here. Or here, maybe here. I'm just thinking about firing like the shotgun and take, like, doing damage. We'll probably need to take this out or put something up to block it from being shot at, like the SMG turret. Still a work in progress though, but that's my thought. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get the rebar frame that we have. And I'm going to make some concrete stairs. I've got ramps in there now, but I'm going to make them stairs. We've got somebody outside, sounds like. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, look at that. Conga line. Will they shoot now? See how many we can get down before they, uh... Now nah, they see us. This guy is definitely enjoying these spikes, though. We had a screamer come last night when I was working on breaking all the metal out. And she, um... Kill yourself on the spikes. So the other thing I want to try to do, depending on how well we get along today. Oh, you broke a block out already? No. It must have been damaged. Cause I really haven't gone around and done repairs yet. Ooh, that was nice. Oh, and mushroom spores. The one thing we were looking for yesterday. Okay, we got lucky today. Shorts, we got a shotgun stock and a shotgun receiver. Okay, we can make a shotgun. Let's go ahead and bring down, actually, the coops first. Let's go plant those outside. So, yeah, as I was saying, um, we had a screamer. She killed herself in the spikes. So, if we get a chance today, what I want to do is I want to add a trench around our, our base. So, let's go ahead and plant you guys. Yeah, I know. I'm thirsty and hungry and all that stuff's. When am I not? All right, we're going to put you guys along here. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I don't know if they need spaces between them or not, but might as well put spaces in between them. Oh, we haven't checked this out yet, have we? A little bit of coal. We'll take it. Might as well take this, too. All right, don't get distracted. Let's go. Okay, so let's put the stuff away now that we need. I'm going to put the spores downstairs when we go back out. Uh, you guys can all go in there. You can go in there. Spuds can go in there. 
you actually let's leave the stone out and the sand out we might need some iron down there today too I don't know um, we might need cobble for repair take the concrete down let's bring you with us too we might need you today there's the rebar frames that we need what we do need to do though is yeah you're still going you're still going so let's get that split up in here that going get the rest of it going in here actually you know what no we're gonna do what concrete blocks how many do we need now um, one two four, uh, uh, ten twelve no we can make those now in rebar so ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 20, let's make 30. Gonna need about 24, but let's make 30 just so I don't math this wrong. Let's get that done, and then the rest of the concrete going. Wait, not that, this. Oh my God, brain dying. Okay, let's get into here. Drop this stuff off. You guys go down here. You go there. We're planting you. You can come down. Sure, and then this is for sale. I should really get a sale box going. Let's go put it down here. I don't think I emptied this light yesterday, did I? I did not. So that's something we gotta do today too, is empty this. Alright, um... I think, I, I reinforced the bottom of this last night too, but then I'm like... We need to like not have this reinforced, and I didn't eat anything. <sighs> I think it like needs to not be reinforced. I'm gonna use two of these, cause we have a lot of work to do today. Um... I think we need to take this whole thing out and not give them any reason to like go after the building at all. So all these need to come out completely. But I'm going to do the rest of that tonight. We're going to work on this right now. So we need to take out all the wood frames and replace them with rebar. So these guys are rebar. I should have probably just built this with rebar last night. I didn't get that one. Oh well. Okay, and then this goes here and here. Here, here. Here, here. Right, right, yep. Yeah. Okay, so that's that part done. <sighs> okay. I'm still worried about this though. Like, it would just go like that. And it would be the same. Like, we could just leave it the same. You know, as we have over there, we take the, um... We take out the, uh... Electric fences, do the same thing on this side. Same electric fences, same doors, same everything. I think that's what we do. I think that's what's gonna happen. I wish I could pick up those steel hatches and stuff, but... I cannot. So yeah, I cal I oh, did I calculate this right or wrong? It's wrong. We need to go out one more. Shoot. Because I need to put the wall here. So we have more room on the inside. Because I definitely want more room on the inside. A 3x3 three three block on the inside is not that much room. So... This is not going to give us enough room. But we're getting dangerously close to the wall here, though. Like, we're really dangerously close here. And if we go one more... Like, if we go one more, they're only going to be two blocks away from the wall. Is that okay, though? I wish this thing here was over here more. <sighs> I 
I just thought of something too. Looking down, the um, it's sitting on gravel, so I'm gonna have to dig underneath it and reinforce it. We got a lot of work to do. What do we do first, though? I'm gonna leave. That's the last thing we take out because if worst case worst case scenario, we fight the horde in the same place in four days. We got us four days though. We should be able to be up and running. I think properly here. Okay, so if we don't extend this out, we can always extend it out backwards and this way, like out on this side. Yeah, I think that's how it's going to be. We put our... Hatches here. Elect well, you know, the other thing too is the electric fence posts. No, we need it here in front of the door. We need them in front of the door. The big problem will come is if, if a mob explodes in front of the doors and wipes out the uh, fence posts. And the other thing too is maybe we just put one in. Rather than having two, we put one here and here, right at need level. And that will stop them from trying to run across that way. They'll just, they'll come around. They'll drop, we'll have spikes below. We could put the sledge, like, along here, too. Well, it's probably better if we do have a sledge on there, though. Okay, let's get the half-frame block up. Um, and we want to do on face. I think we want to go at least here and here. Maybe we do it all the way along here. Just to give them that extra little bit when they get to the top that they've got still got enough to run on. And then it narrows them down at the end here. And then we take one of these guys. Shape, we do, uh, where are you here? Ramp block. Like that. Right, those are going to be stairs. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Although, uh... Not feeling pretty good about what they're sitting on. We gotta dig underneath this now. God damn it. I should have did that before. Alright, let's start. This ground's gotta be all reinforced too. Let's go ahead and at least get the parts that we need to have reinforced, reinforced. Right, so that'll be like that. We'll do all around it too. I want to get underneath here as well. Like maybe all the, this whole floor needs to be replaced. And we should probably do it before we... Um, yeah. We gotta do it now. Yep, we'll do it now. It's going to take a while, but I think we do one block all the way around everything. See, my fear is that, you know, we're going to get cops that are going to blow up. We're going to get demos eventually that are going to blow up. And I don't want to have to go back and do all this afterwards. At least if it's done now, it's done right. <sighs> all right. Let's dig her up. Okay, you know what? I've decided against doing all of that. It's going to take too long. I'm getting the main. We'll get the front and the back done. And I'll worry about this later. Once we get an auger, and I can rip through this with no problem, that's probably what I'll do. But I will do, I think down here, what I will do, though, is dig up the sand or the gravel down here and get some of this out of the way because the zombies will be falling down here. And... Um, I want to have it at least so that it's at least semi-stable right this spot. 
So we'll do this part here, just this part. But I don't want it to start eating into all of our resources too, right? So. Okay, excellent. And then we're going to need to go one more out this way, I think. I think like that. I think that's how it has to be. Right? Now let's go get our rest of our concrete. 30 blocks. All right, slowly getting there. We should probably um, get as much cement. Get that back going again. Uh, Oh, you guys can go back in here. How much do we have? Oh, we need more sand. We got enough stone? We do. So another 600 in here. And then whatever we got left over in here. Excellent. Alrighty, let's get these in first. Now, um... We need to do shape, stairs, here, three, four, okay, and then five, six, like that, like that, that and that, right, and then we drop the rebar in here. We technically don't have to drop rebar in here, but if they blow through this, you're going to want to have that being reinforced. All right. Okay, those are pretty much going to be covered. You're okay. All right. So now we want to do that and that, that and that. All right. And now we want to do the corners. Do we have corners? There's the question. We do. Not so. One there. One there. One there. One there. There and there. There and there. Now we do back to shape stairs. And we need to go that way. All right. Let's fill in. Uh, I hope this works. Okay, that's that part done. So they come up here, shot in the back, stair, 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 stair. They run up here. Runners might go right off the edge, but hoping they don't. Do we make that a full block then, maybe? Let's do that, actually. Let's take you out. Yeah. Okay, let's make that like that. We'll put you as a full block, like that and like that. Take you out and then go shape. We want to go with you. There we go, like that. So that makes a little more sense, I think, because then this will give him some room to turn and head this way. But noticing some of the runners are pretty fast, so... Right, like that. That gives them a place to turn here so they don't knock each other off. They can continue on. Now let's get these guys done down here first. I always feel weird about filling in the concrete at the top before I fill in the, the posts. Because it's almost like, you know, you're like, Oh, I'm putting too much weight on it. You're not really, but... Okay, let's go do that. Yeah, I think I feel pretty good about this one. Um, I'm going to hold off doing this last little bit, though. Because I want to make sure that we're correct. I can correct things from this point on. Like, this just gets the zombies to us. And then if I need to, like, go out one more or whatever, I could do it here. That needs to be done, though. I think the door is going to be here regardless. 
So I should actually go ahead and update these guys now. Oh, uh, yeah. Because that's not going to change. That's not going to change. This is, though. We're going to pull this stuff out of here. Because we're going forward one from this point. Right? And then... These guys have to come out. Okay, now let's lay this out with wood first. So what I want to do, I think... Um, how do we want to do this? In my head, I had a clear picture, but I'm like, I'm starting to wonder now. Um, can we get... Let's just build up from down here. So I think what we want to do is do shape... We want to go with, where are you here, this guy, we want to go advanced, nope, um, like that, right, on these three, wait, are we going to go out one more on this side? Does that put us too close to... Yeah, no, I don't think so. I think that's fine. We're going to go out one more on this side. So we'll have it like that. And then... Yeah, we might as well have it the same on this part. We don't need it. No, uh, yeah, we don't. Because then what we do is we do... Shape. No, we do do. We do do. Right? Like that and like that. That gives us some place to hide behind. Right? There and there. Because now we've got an opening to the stairs, which will be here too. So we'll have two and two, right where the stairs are. And then this part becomes shape. We do it like... Where are you here? Where's the wedge tips? Like that. That's correct, isn't it? Yeah. Right? I should have placed it on the other one already. First. Oops. Uh, right? So that gives us... Excuse me. Yeah, and then the dart traps are going underneath that. Or are they? Huh. That means we'd only have leg-high dart traps. But the thing I like about this, though, is that we can see straight down. I think that's important. So we can see what's going on in the stairs. And if we need to drop something, like, if we can throw, like, Molotovs down there, or we have to drop something on them, we could. Like a pipe bomb or a grenade or something. And we can shoot them if they're beating on stuff down here. I think that's an advantage, so I think it has to stay this way, which means we don't have a lot of room for dart traps. We only got two. Yeah, because we can't replace these two blocks or else we won't be able to see down. And I don't want to knock out those blocks behind there because it's like 10,000 hit points. So our dart traps would be like there and there. And they'll be shooting the zombies in the legs. Which I think is okay. At least it'll minimize the, the ability for them to trigger like a demo or something. Although the idea of this was to have it constantly shooting them in the back. Maybe we lower this one. That's what we're going to do. We're going to lower this one down one. Break it before it gets too set. I wanted it three high because I didn't want them to be going on the walls on the side here and then just jumping up on here. But I don't think it matters. If they jump up, so what if they jump up? Alright, so now we go like this and this. Right? And that's fine. The dart traps will be, will be four of them. Okay, cool. That's I'm, I'm okay with that. Now let's pull these out. And this is going to be rebar, so we want to go down. I'll finish digging out these guys tonight, I'm not worried about it right now. 
We do have to go down under here, though. This is scaring me. I hope none of this becomes too structurally unsound that it starts to fall. I'm going to do the four corners first. And I should go down two blocks on the corners. Let's go around the outside here first. Okay, let's grab you. Right? And then we can put... Oh, we need to go down two. Like I said. Right? One, two. That way, if there is an explosion and it takes out one of the blocks... I mean, we still have at least a solid foundation from which to function on. In theory. Whether that's going to happen, I don't know. Okay, two in this corner. Maybe I should do two around the out the hole outside. I think I probably should. Because if this pillar comes down, it's over for us. Damn it, can I repair this? Yep, perfect. Yeah, I think if we go two down all around the outside here, then, and then we do like, like a level here. That way if they do blow up this outside here, there's no threat in getting to the, the uh, soft underneath of this. I think that's probably the way to go. All right, I'm ultra paranoid, so we're going to do it two levels down here. Yeah, we're going to go two levels down on the corners and just one block out as well. And you know what? While I'm down here, I should just do like the hole underneath. How much rebar and how much... I don't have a lot of concrete left. Uh, let's go back up and get some more going. And then let's get some more rebar frame on the craft. How are we doing with uh, steel production? Pretty darn good here. Pretty reasonable. Um, let's put you in here. Yeah, we're going to update a lot of the outside to steel at some point. Uh, but not right now. Let's go with Hugh. With you. Like that. Grab the clay. Let's grab the stone out. Um, grab you out. What are you doing? You're doing okay. Let's turn you off for a second and go with rebar. Gonna go 200. We're gonna use it all eventually anyway, so... And then we can go back to cement here. Get another 2,000 on the craft. Have a few more of those. And we'll see what kind of concrete we got going on here. Not bad. Not bad. What do we got? 216. Well... Actually, we've got some more over here, too. Not a lot. 515, alright. Keep it going. We spent, like, a whole day building. Like, and I don't feel like I got anything done again. Like, uh... Yeah, this is, like, imagine if this came down. The whole horde base would just collapse. Do I think it would happen? Yeah, no, probably not. I don't, like, I, honestly, I don't foresee it happening, but, like, later on when we crank up the maximum zo zombies on the horde, there is that opportunity for them to kind of, like, me to make an error... You know, a demo falls off the ramp, lands right next to this, goes off, does a crap ton of damage. Then a second one falls off, it does a crap ton of damage. I just feel more comfortable when this is like... And then I know that underneath this is all reinforced concrete, at least reinforced concrete, you know? 
And I'll probably do at least some of this to steel later. At least the surface parts anyway will be steel. Well, auto rebar already, but at least this completely underneath here has got two blocks. Reinforced concrete. And I feel safer already. Let's bring some steel down when we come. Oh, okay. Now we've got to do this wall here too. All this needs to be reinforced. And I don't think we need to... Uh, maybe we do these, like these pillars steel? Probably. Some more concrete. Some more concrete. Once again, we're bottlenecked. Wait. Oh, I ran out of the rebar. That was what it was, right? There's the rebar we need. All right, there we go. All right, I feel safer now. Okay, so um, before we actually add our blocks here, or at least we put them in. So we need one, two, like this. And our dart traps are going to be here, these four. Right? And then... How do we access them, though? We need a way to get to them. To reload them and stuff. You know what we're going to try and do? I think... As I'll build around them like this... Right? Like that. With just these regular rebar frames. I'll put the dart traps in. I'll put wooden bars in front of them. And see if I can sneak between the two blocks to access them. Because I think I'll be able to do that. Just kind of do a block sneak, you know? Yeah, see, I can't extend that beyond there. Here's somebody outside. Oops, another wandering horde, maybe? No, just a couple of idiots. Over here. Oh, no, it is. They're the fast ones. Where's the rest of them? Oh, here you are. Here they come. Cool, we got one more idiot back here though. There we go. Alright, I'm going to harvest these bananas while we're out here. Bananas and the rest of the fruit. Alright, a little bit of fruit. Now, I don't think any of these things are probably tripped by today. Nah. So yeah, we didn't get a chance to do any of the outside stuff. I think it's going to be just the sides in the back that I work on first. Okay, um, where were we? Yeah, so let's go make some dart traps. We need four dart traps. Um, what do we need to make dart traps with? And do we make them here? We can. Forged iron, mechanical parts, electrical parts, and oil. That's easy. So, electrical, mechanical parts, oil... Forged iron, electrical parts. Where are you? Here we go. So dart traps. Actually, is it cheaper somewhere else? Is it here? It is here. Gonna make eight. I might as well have a couple on on hand just in case we need them later on and we might as well yeah I got the way okay scrap that about a chicken when I was out there too uh, you can go in there you can go in there much more concrete we got a couple hundred more here 
couple hundred more here. Not bad. All right. Actually, you know what we should do? Let's get the steel and fix that uh, container. Let's fix this now. Just because I don't want to have to go back and do it later. Because I'll probably make, I'll probably forget that I need to upgrade it. Uh, you're okay. Alright, let's pull these out. Alright, it was just the one corner. Okay. I mean, in theory, I'd love to just, like, have the dart traps with, um, wooden bars in front of them, but we all know how that would go. There would be somebody explode down here, and then it would be all over. Alright, we're going to do the angles up here. Uh-huh. And then the flat boys. And we might as well pull these guys out of here too, because I think I can do them with... Uh, we we have the ability to do them with rebar frame, that's the question. I think so. We do. Okay, so... Uh, you up one two three four so we want to do shape you advanced there we go like that and then like this oops not these guys you guys are shape and where are you? There you are. I want to put that all the way along here too, I think. Like that. Right? That's the part that's sticking out. Actually, no. Um. We want to have protection from vultures. So in order to do that, this has got to stick out more at the top where we're standing. Not so much here, right, where we're being blocked. Like this is fine, like that. But where we're standing, it's got to go out more. Let's take out Take out these guys. Okay, and then we want to do... Okay, back to this shape. Put you here, because that's going to be our corner. Right up to the top. Now, we want to have this stick out a bit and then have bars, because we want to be able to throw stuff down, but we don't want the vultures to fly directly in to get us. So I'm thinking that we do do it this way, like have it stick out like that. Right? And then we can just have like bars that come down, down from up here. Now the question is, do we want to have this open too? Probably. I think that's probably good. Like being able to see down into there as well. That's going to be helpful, I think. Yeah, I know I'm hungry. This door's got to go as well. Alright, well, I'm going to figure this out. Going to knock out the blocks down here. Get the rest of the stuff upgraded down here. Oops, going to lose some rebar frame. Um, yeah. And then tomorrow we can get the dart traps put in. We can finish putting all of the concrete on, on here. Actually, before we leave today, let's have a look at our 
skill points so we can go into um, better barter I think even show even better loot yeah I think we want to go this way we want to open up getting some more stuff from the trader so we're gonna go that route I think see how it does for us we'll worry about that tomorrow though I'm gonna end the episode here guys I hope you enjoyed it if it did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below till next time we'll see you later